We can do more with our life. We all know it. We all wish for it. But just how to do it, that eludes us. As one man describes his life, In the morning I can't wake up. In the day I am bored. In the evening I am tired. And at night I can't sleep. Even if we want to change, we're not sure which path to take. And if we do find our way, we are usually too emotionally wounded, physically unhealthy, or mentally stressed to take the steps we know would transform our desperate life into a meaningful one. Most of us also long to change this troubled world, but the one thing we have the most influence over is the person looking back at us in the mirror every morning. We live in fear of terrorism, but in actuality, the most devastating terrorism comes from within us as we continue to sabotage ourselves. A neglected body, chaotic mind, or wounded heart will prevent us from fulfilling our destiny as much as any outside enemy. We know that we deserve and are meant to live an inspired life that rises above mere existence. But how? First, heal the body. With the body revitalized, you can function at a higher level in all other aspects. Learn to govern the body so the body doesn't govern you. Second, calm the mind. The more still and clear your mind is, the better your decision-making process will be, allowing you to choose from wisdom rather than from fear or desire. Third, heal your heart, your emotions. The more your heart is open and filled with joy and gratitude, the more you will enjoy life and be able to shine your light out into the world. The more light you shine into the world, the more you can help others with your very presence. Change needs to occur simultaneously in all three aspects, body, mind, and emotions, resulting in a new state of being for which there is no price. You will begin to live a life you have always known you could live, a life with meaning, a life full of love, a life worth breathing. The wisdom offered in this book integrates naturally with nearly all religious paths and philosophies, because it does not attempt to replace them. Instead, it helps you embody your own highest ideal of life. It doesn't ask you to change your religion, it helps you to live your faith more fully. It does this partly by teaching universal principles of virtue that echo in the sacred texts of all the world's religions. The primary intent is to learn to breathe the ultimate source of life, or universal intelligence, to merge with it and to ultimately embody it. But what is the source of life? It is the providence beyond names and words, beyond what our intellect can grasp, but what the heart knows intimately. People across the globe and across time have given this power various names, faces, and personalities. But we all know that the true experience of divinity is what we experience within. It is as if different people need different keys to unlock the same door. These keys, languages, and rituals open the mind and the heart and enable us to know reality beyond this world. For some, it is a distant feeling of knowing and faith, while for others, it's a blazing experience they can touch and breathe. But just as there are hundreds of names for the one sun that warms this earth, I invite you to seek the sun within you and do so without imposing a name. One of the essential practices of our time is Hatha Yoga, and it is sweeping across the world at an exponential speed. Why? One might ask, how does this exotic workout have any meaningful impact on our happiness, on our relationships, our careers? The ultimate power of yoga lies beyond what the eyes can see. Hatha yoga, sometimes mistaken as simply a healthy form of exercise, is indeed partly a health regime, but good health comes as a side effect of a grander intent.